All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get a little bit technical. I recently went through an exercise to learn about the Flow blockchain. And if you don't know what the Flow blockchain is, it's the blockchain that Dapper Labs created to build NBA Top Shot. It's a um, really good blockchain for the NFT and NFT gaming use case. So I thought, you know, why not learn this? I've been talking to this company called Alchemy lately and then they pointed me towards it. So I decided to do this tutorial to really clarify and make it easy for you to get your first Flow React app running and use their JavaScript SDK to also communicate with the Alchemy dashboard. But by the end of this tutorial, you're gonna be able to have this really simple website with a button on it. And when you click it, it interacts with the Flow blockchain and you can track that interaction on the Alchemy dashboard and see that metric and see the response. And that's awesome. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you're ready, let's get started. All right, so let's go to the computer screen here and I'll walk you through the demo. Uh, basically, if you are not a audio visual YouTube learner, just go to the GitHub repo and the steps here pretty much walk you through the exact same thing. So I'll show you all the commands and everything and also to talk about like why certain things are the way they are. And uh, yeah, cool. So once again, uh, Flow is a new blockchain that's built for the next generation of apps, games, and digital assets. And so it's pretty interesting and exciting because there are all these new blockchains that are popping up to help make these new use cases run more smoothly, smoother than they can be on the Ethereum blockchain. That's why it's kind of worth checking out. And then Alchemy is a developer platform that makes blockchain development easier with tools for deploying, building, monitoring, and uh, even alerting, I think, like notifications uh, on your decentralized applications. So they support a number of different blockchains. Flow is one of them. By the end of this guide, you're gonna have a simple React app that looks like this with a button, get info for address, blah, blah, blah. And when you press it, it's gonna read out on your console. And it'll be configured to send events to your Alchemy dashboard. And that's gonna look like this down here where you have your app and it shows like response times and success and the number of requests and things like that. Cool. So prerequisites, this guide assumes that you have an Alchemy Flow account. So if you just click on this link, excuse me, and then you log in up here. Boop. Uh, I already have an account, so it should auto log me in. And it takes me to the Ethereum thing by default. Uh, I think it's because that's their biggest, you know, most supported blockchain right now. But if you click down to flow, that's where that second link takes you. And I already have an app up, but we're gonna create app and make an API key. So um, that's kind of what you need to, you need to go and set up your account first. And then uh, just a quick overview once again, there's three parts of this. We're gonna create an app on the Alchemy dashboard. And then number two, we're going to create a React app uh, locally. And it's just front end only. You don't need like a Node.js backend or anything like that, which is pretty nice to get started. Uh, we're gonna configure the Flow JavaScript SDK in your new project. And then finally, we're gonna make some requests and that'll tie everything together. So let's do this. First part, create an Alchemy Flow app. So in order to use Alchemy's products and connect to the Flow chain, you need an API key. So that's why we need to go here and create an app. So when you create your account, you're not gonna have anything here. Let's just click on create app. And then you can call this um, flow alchemy hello world. I'm gonna call it two because I already have one. Um, and then the only thing is you, you should set this to testnet because we're not gonna be querying the flow, uh, the actual flow blockchain mainnet. We're gonna be building on the testnet for now. And then once you create app, it'll show up flow alchemy hello world two. And if you click on this, it'll take you to the dashboard where nothing's happened so far, but now you can click the view key button and you can see your API key and the gRPC endpoint that hits the flow testnet for Alchemy. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this is just talking about how if you switch to mainnet, then you can have this gRPC endpoint, but if you're using testnet, then we're gonna have the one that we've already seen. So at any time you can click on that view keys button and then you can see your unique API key and gRPC endpoint. That's what this is. And then great, we've finished the first part. So the second part is where we're actually gonna get into the code. And this part is gonna be super easy. Also, I have all the copy and paste snippets here, but we're gonna use the Yarn package manager to uh, create a React app. And then we're going to go into that app after we create it. So you can just run that and it's just gonna generate all the boiler code for your web application. And then once that's finished, we're gonna go into that project and install the Flow SDK. So that includes two packages. One is the Flow Client Library and one is the types. So Flow Client Library is, uh, you can find more information about it in this link. 
types is kind of just like the interfaces that Flow needs. And then, uh, great, so let's go into here. It's finished building. We're gonna CD into Flow Alchemy Hello World. And then I'm just gonna open this up in my code editor so that I can do things more easily because I'm not a Vim god. <laughs> um, but number two is we're gonna configure our app so that it knows how to talk to the Alchemy access node. And it also knows how to use the Flow SDK. So there's two things we gotta build here. Number one is an end local file and number two is a config.js. And so we can go back to our terminal and you can just copy and paste this. It'll generate the files. And you should be able to see that in our code editor. So in our env local, this is gonna be an empty file. And then in our source config.js, this is also an empty file. So in the env.local, this is where we configure the stuff that's private to you and special to your app. So the most important things are the React app access node and the React app Alchemy API key. We also need this other stuff to basically connect to the blockchain and find the right address. I'm not gonna go into how Cadence and Flow blockchain works, but basically you need to have an address. And let's just copy and paste this over. Boom. So that's good. And right here, we need to replace this one, your API key, uh, with this guy. Oops. Boom. So that's done. The next thing, now that we have our envlocal set up, is we need to load the envlocal into our config.js file so that our application knows about it. You can just copy this over. And you can see here that uh, what this is doing is it's saying for the gRPC endpoint that we want to configure, we load up the environment variable for the React App Alchemy API key, and that's um, a field that we wanna store for API key. And then we also have the React App Access node and the React App Wallet Discovery and all the other things that we had set in, in our configuration variables. So the important thing is now that you have this file, you wanna open up the index.js, um, which is like the entry point into your entire application when it's loading, and then you wanna import that .config file. So, that's, that's it. Now that we've configured everything, we wanna tie it all together and be able to see your first request show up on the Alchemy dashboard so that you know it's successful and you know that you're interacting with the Flow blockchain. So we go down to this make request section. There's kind of like two things we're gonna do here. We're gonna define a script function that's gonna allow us to interact with the Flow blockchain. And then we're gonna call that script function from our application using a very simple button. So for this first part, let us create a scripts folder. That's just where you know, you can keep it organized and keep all of your flow scripts. So we're also going to create a check profile file. And then inside the index.js, oh, sorry, not in the index.js, inside the check profile function, that's where we're going to define our function. And then we can, I can talk you through this a little bit. So that's inside the scripts, check profile. Let's make me get this a little bigger. So what's happening here is basically that we are importing the SDK and we're creating this function check profile. We're gonna log checking into the console so that later when you press the button, you can see that this happens and then it takes a second for the blockchain to be queried uh, or for the script to run. And then at the very end, we're actually going to log that. Here is the info that has been recorded and then we return that info. And so what it's actually doing is in the script, we import a profile smart contract that has been deployed at this address. And then we run the profile.read function on the address that we pass into the function, which is happens to be the same address where this profile contract is stored. Then we re will return that info. Cool, so that's a check profile function. And then all we have to do is in our app.js, this is like the main app that index.js is loading. You can see here index.js is loading this application. So in the app file, we are going to just copy this over and you can just replace the whole entire file. So we're just gonna select all and paste. And here we are importing the check profile function and we're literally just setting that as the on click for a button. And we have some filler text in here. So great, everything is saved. And now we can see the magic happen when we run npm start to run our application. It should pop up in our browser. Boom. Oh, I forgot to run the yarn install for the, um, the packages. I missed that. So let's run that and install the tools. So now we can do npm start. There we go. And then it should be compiling. Boom, compiled successfully. And now we have this button. And then let me bring up the console so you can see when I click this button, it says checking. 
And then it says, here's the info recorded for address 0xBA. The info is floor, uh, flow core team, creator and maintainer of FCL and the flow JS SDK. Success, we got it. And then when you go back to the apps and you refresh, then you can see, boom, we got our first request recorded on the Alchemy dashboard. It shows you that it's an ex execute script at latest block um, method. And here's the return value. And this, unfortunately, right now is still a base64 encoded JSON object. Um, so you can actually, it's not human readable, but just to prove that it is eventually human readable, if you decode it, we can just decode it. And you can see here that we get that same info uh, value, which is flow core team creator and maintainer of FCL on the flow JS SDK. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this person's name is QVVG. And uh, this is his profile picture. So we can load this and you can see his profile picture. So yay, that's pretty cool. We got our first flow app with the SDK running and it's super simple. We're just executing the script um, in the check profile function. We're just executing this script. You can see fcl.script and we're just running this you know, read address function. But from here, you can start exploring the SDK and start doing things like deploying your own contracts, executing transactions. That costs a little bit of um, flow currency. So you're gonna have to set up like an account and stuff like that. But for this one, that's where we're gonna end. Um, yeah. Cool, so that was it. Hopefully that was useful. And uh, let me know in the comments if you wanna see even further development on this blockchain. I can continue this project so that there are more transactions and we deploy contracts and things like that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Flow Blockchain is one of the, the newer tools, platforms that are coming out. So it could be a good idea to invest early as they're developing because you can very quickly become an expert yourself. And I'm here to work alongside you and help you along. Let me know if it was helpful. And that's it. I will see you next time.